Thank you so much for all being here. My name is Emily Mari, co-founder of SALT, and I only take care of the fun stuff in SALT, so whether it was the marketing part or the events or the lifestyle. So don't ask me hard questions about how do you make your burgers or how many staff do you have? No, it's just the fun part of it. And it's just too early in the morning to talk about operations and all that. Whereas my partner, who is a food entrepreneur, she works mainly on the food part and the operation part. So we're quite a very good team working together. Okay, so how many of you are aware of salt? Okay, almost all, that's good. <laughs> how many of you hate salt? Perfect. Because I have one, but that's not realistic. Um, we always think that we love hearing negative criticism. It's very important in the business. We can't act, okay, we have 77,000 followers, but that doesn't mean we are doing everything perfectly. It, it doesn't make sense. So one of the main things, and because the topic is revolution, one of the main important things is listening to people, knowing what they want, and not acting as we have it and we got it all covered. Um, it's very hard to even... When you do something really well, when we do a really good event, the next event should exceed that. It shouldn't go less than that. So always pushing the boundaries is very important. Never settle. And that's all about revolution, and that's what we're here for. So how did we start SALT? We started with a salt shaker. It was so funny, because when we sent out 200 salt shakers, we did not have a location. We did not have any approvals from either the municipality or DED or anything. We were too naive back then, thinking that it's very easy to have it. So what we did, we faked it till we make it. Um, we did not listen. We were too naive. We did not see all the rules and regulations, the health authority and all that. We, did, we didn't know that this, this all existed. But when we created the demand, there was no way to go back. There is no way to say, oh, we can't do it. And if we knew all that, then we wouldn't have made it. So, yes, fake it till you make it always. Never think of all the neg negative things or all the hard parts that you will face. It was, we were in a position where we, will st we had the salt shakers, we never saw the truck. It came two months later than when we expected. We did not have a location. But who cares? People loved the campaign. People got engaged. And what was the campaign about is basically find your salt. So imagine life without salt. It's nothing. Whether it was, it's not the salt food truck, it's salt, salt of life. So imagine life without salt. It's so bland, it has nothing. And that's how we tapped into the business of emotions. People, people uh, when we asked people, we just sent the salt shakers, so what they had to do is basically take pictures of the salt shaker with the things they cared most about. So it was the beach, it was the park, it was their families. It was the so simple things in life that we wanted to give them. We, that's why we are not opening in a shopping mall or we are not opening in a very commercial place. We chose the beach where we created our own destination. We chose the park where it was also a destination. So that's what we're trying to do. Take people away from the normal things. Listen to what people want and really do it for them. Um, and also a funny thing, when we first started, we had nothing to the extent that we were stealing plastic crates. The ones for, for the milk crates, the one for Al Marai, it was that specific one, just to make our furniture. So many of you didn't see that because it was one year ago. And it was just for a month that we made so many mistakes and we stopped during the summer just to bring everything back. So it was a very long process. It was a very hard process, but we made it through. And if we listen to everyone or, or listen to all the issues that would face us, we wouldn't have done it. So we just went through with it. We were so passionate that to leave the, the idea behind us. So um, what else? <laughs> so yes, fake it till you make it. Never listen to all the negative things or the, never be scared. Just love what you do and you'll do it very, very well. Um, 
And yes, we are not a food truck. If we were a food truck, then you would see just a truck without any seating area, without any events happening there. So we re we're really trying to exceed people's <coughs> expectations. We're really trying to create our own destination. So now for summer, we are, everyone was telling us you're shutting down in summer, but hey, no, we're not shutting down in summer. We're creating a summer solution for you that is temporary, that you can still enjoy salt while, while it's still hot. So we don't want to take salt away from people because it is that simple ingredient in the city that makes it valuable. It's not only about the food, it's not only about the location, it's everything complementing it. So that's salt. <laughs> I'd love to talk more, but I'd love to really hear what you want to, to know about salt more. <laughs> Does anyone, do you have any questions you'd like to ask our, our salter? Yes. Yeah. So how difficult is it to convince authorities here? Because that's a roadblock that a lot of people face. With something so new and something that's not... Yes, that yeah. It, w it wasn't easy. We fought for it all the way. We, we believed that we will do it. The first day we opened SALT, we did not have any approvals. Because they weren't giving us. And we had everything ready. Why are you not giving us an approval? It's so funny. We... The kitchen is perfectly done. The, the pl everything, everything is perfect. And they would say, no, there are wheels in the truck. But there is no engine. So it's not literally a food truck. It's a kiosk. Maybe I wouldn't like to say the word kiosk, but literally, it's a kiosk with perfect setup. It's not a wood kiosk. We, we literally want to take pictures of wood kiosks that can burn. We went to Global Village and showed municipality that that's not Right. What we have is right. What we have is healthy. It's good. It's so. Yeah, we we fought for it. Do I have any more questions? Yes. <laughs> so, yes, I mean, so, uh, but the question I wanted to ask you, I wanted to congratulate you guys because I think it's a great idea, you know, that you have, uh, you know, a car in a way, right? And uh, I wanted to know, people are going to probably call me the idea. Um, what basically, um, like, what preparation do you have, um, you know, to prepare for this, basically? So yes. Yes, um, we keep the standards high. So that's why I'm telling you I'm not a food truck. Mostly the authorities would give you approvals for events. We don't go to events. We are fighting to have our own destination. That's number one. And it's not an easy fight, but it's worth the fight. So that's number one. We never go to events unless very specific lifestyle related events. That's how we keep things very niche. And then we, we're always trying to introduce new items. We started with five items in the menu um, when, when, when we first started. And then when we reopened, it was just two items. We just picked the best of what people wanted. And now we're trying to introduce every time with, while doing an event. So we're keeping it live. Whenever we get bored of salt, we do something to get excited. And that's how people get excited again. So I think. That's how we do it. I, I have a quick question. Yes. You don't have a web page. Yes. <laughs> you only, at this point, use social media, and you have quite a following on the social media. Are, are you surprised by that, and why don't you have a web page? Because it takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then through social media, you can get people's feedback instantly. Whenever any, how we started, whenever people went to Salt, we would directly send a direct message. How is your experience? That's how we got a very loyal customer base. And Instagram gives you that uh, privilege of asking people instantly. 
taking their feedback while it's private and they really care about it. So we are working on the web page. I think it's time for that. Yeah. Do we have any other questions? I know you've got something on your mind. Okay, because it's the simplest ingredient. And in Arabic, we have a saying, milh al haya, which is the salt of life, which is the most important things in life. And that's how we started the campaign, actually. So we just wanted to learn and see what people cared most about. It was the very simple things that you can see it from the pictures. Keeping it simple, I think, is the key. No website, no yeah. Instagram. We want to go international. I want to see salt in London or New York. I really want to see that. And you might say that it's not a new idea there, but the way we're doing it is different. We're tapping into the lifestyle element. And just to take something that started in Dubai and taking it international, I think that's a huge step for us. That's yeah, our main. <laughs> Okay, so what we're trying to do is make the locals feel like tourists and tourists feel like locals. Us, we only go to shopping malls, literally. I think everyone knows that. You don't see locals more often. And that's what we wanted to do, to create that space that brings everyone together. Bring them to the beach, do things, walk on sand. Many of them comes in heels. No, you need to wear flip-flops and come to the beach. It's okay. But uh, that's the mentality we're trying to change.